So what are we making today? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet potato pies. Excellent. What kind of sweet potato pies are we making? Two sweet, one savory. Ah, so a savory sweet potato pie. A savory sweet potato pie, which not a lot of people know about, Excellent. but it's possible. One will definitely involve marshmallows. Ah, so the classic recipe. Yeah. What are Just, we going to do the other one? Uh, let's see. I believe we are going to use, uh, instead of doing pastry crust, we are going to do a uh, sweet potato cracker crumb. Okay. Because we found some sweet potato crackers and figured why not. Why not? Alright. Making some pie crust. Three cups of flour. And what are you mixing that? One beaten egg. Alright. We cut in a short in half stick butter. Brian, why do you think people are intimidated by pie crust? Traditionally, pie crust is a little fussy. It's, um, it's also the the requirements are obscure. Yeah. So when you're making the ideal pie crust, the ideal pie crust is both tender and flaky. Right. And that's kind of a weird sort of thing to say. What's all that mean? Right. And I'm actually astounded at how many cookbook recipes or magazine recipes say, head to your refrigerator section and pick up a pie crust. I mean, I guess, you know, that takes the intimidation factor out of it. It's certainly a time saver. Here we are making some pie crust. <laughs> and what we have in this bowl is three cups of flour and mm -hmm. half a stick of butter incorporated into the flour, a beaten egg, all of that very quickly incorporated together. And now, we've got one tablespoon of vinegar. And so far, four tablespoons of water, which might be where I'm going to end up because it must be sort of high humidity today. And that's, yes, that's exactly what I usually judge it on. We're going to take Pie dough. And make two discs, which will stick in the refrigerator to rest and to chill. Try to touch it as little as possible. You do have to get it in a, in a shape that can be conducive to pie crust later on. Beautiful, right? So, now we are preparing for the savory pie. Yes. So, for that, we have an apple, very savory. Uh, we have an onion, which is much more savory. <laughs> uh, we have everyone's favorite, bacon. Bacon! Which has been cooked and, uh, and diced. And then, uh, the original recipe we're looking at for this, this is a, uh, um, a sweet potato hash, by the way, uh, that we're just going to bake into a pie. So, the original recipe for the hash was... Um, uh, called for thyme. I said fi on thyme and instead decided to use some chili powder that I made a while back. Because uh, there's nothing more for me chili powder to liven something up. And chili, chili and uh, sweet potato go very well together. I think I will start with the apple. So, which we'll do by coring. There are lots of ways you can core. I happen to have an apple core, so that usually gets 90% of the way out of the way. Uh, with one pie, it's eh. With uh, or with one apple, it's in. With a whole apple pie, it is a huge time saver if you don't end up cutting yourself. Uh, but, you know, there are so many ways to cut yourself. So, nice. Have, eh, Good job. I will peel. This is actually the most dangerous implement for me in the kitchen. Uh, I have never, with one of these, I have never cut myself. Let's see if I can. <laughs> Uh, with these, I cut myself every other time I use it, so I think I got off last time. With me, it's, um, with me, it's the microplaner. I microplane uh, myself. 
which you gave me, by the way. I oh, microplane yeah. myself every time I use it. <laughs> I see it. I didn't realize I was going to do something so dangerous. But I think but of you every time I grate myself. So sweet. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. And then my little dice Uh The key with any sort of strangely shaped object that you're cutting up is you want to uh, a always pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, usually, what you don't want to do is uh, you know put in a cut and then look away and start talking to someone and then cut. As you properly process an onion, you take off uh, you know a little bit of the outer skin to start with. You'll be doing more in a second. Um, then you want to divide it in half across the uh, uh, across the root here. Um, the root holds things together, so it makes it a lot easier to deal with in a moment if you do that. So now you have two halves of an onion. Now you can peel off the rest of the outside onion layer, and this is where things will start to snap. And then you cut off the front part. Uh, if there's any of that left over. And then you decide how small you want to uh, cut your onion. We don't need it all that small. Um, so I'm just going to cut two ways. First, I cut almost all the way through the onion, um, but not through the root, because as I said, the root keeps everything together. And so we have a Cut, but it's still together so I can handle it like this. And then you turn it 90 degrees uh, and then cut it the other way. Gently smush it in there. Okay, here we are making the guts of two sweet sweet potato pies, dessert sweet potato pies. So we've got roughly eh, two cups of baked and mashed sweet potatoes. We're going to add three eggs to each of these. You are a daredevil just cracking right into the, uh... Yeah! Awesome. I am a daredevil that way. And then we're going to throw... <laughs> throw three quarters of, of a cup of sugar into each of these as well. Now what's next, Brian? Uh, after that we will do, uh, about a cup and a quarter of yogurt. Open a quarter? Yep. Alright. We are using plain whole milk yogurt. So one of the reasons we're doing sweet potato pies for pie three days is that Brian doesn't like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. And uh, <laughs> and sweet potato is a really good alternative. Uh, for pumpkin pie. I think it tastes a lot lighter. I think pumpkin can be kind of kind of a, a heavier. I think the texture of pumpkin is... Uh, is that what you don't like? I just don't... I don't know. It's a... I like the flavor of the sweet potato. Yeah. I just... The, the flavor of pumpkin pie is just meh. Meh. So the... Uh, one thing that goes really well with sweet potato is brown sugar, and we did not use brown sugar this time, uh, because I have been on an anti-brown sugar kick. Instead, I use regular sugar and molasses. Uh, that way I don't have to carry in the pantry sugar, brown sugar, and molasses. Oh. I can just 
uh, make it. And you don't have to worry about it. There's a light brown sugar, there's a dark brown sugar. But this was maybe instead. like an anti Rolling Stone staple or something. No, no, just, uh, just uh, <laughs> molasses. It's really easy to keep. And then if you want to add some in, you can do anywhere from a couple tablespoons to a quarter cup for, per cup of uh, sugar. And if you are really just a crazy person, then you go, eh, all right, that's good. <laughs> Savory pie, it's pretty much the uh, the same procedure and much of the same ingredients as before. We have the sweet potatoes, um, we have the apples from before, we have the onion which I, uh, I sauteed up in the bacon grease, and the bacon, and we have our slices. I'm still going to uh, use the, um, still going to use the yogurt. And I'm still going to use the eggs because those basically provide body, but I'm not going to add any sugar or molasses to this. So we'll go with a little salt, which we also added uh, a moment ago to uh, the sweet pies. And I'm going to add the pepper. It's a really gross sound. It is a really gross sound. And it's sweet potato, it's vegetable, it's basically good for you. So. Sorry. Well, this one, apple, mm -hmm. onion, sweet no potato. Sugar. Bacon, bacon's good for you. Bacon's good for you. A little protein in there. Mm -hmm. Bacon. Crumpled up bacon, yummy. Apples. Nope. Oh. And Brian's famous chili powder? Yes. Homemade chili powder. Never touch because it with your hands and then touch your eyes. Right. Or if you're making a lot of it uh, with hot peppers, don't just use it on bare skin because it, that hurts too. It will burn. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'll go to sleep crying. <laughs> I just want to sleep. I don't want my hands to burn. Yes. <laughs> that was not a good evening for my wife. Who are you? No, uh, or me. What are you doing now, Brian? I'm rolling up my sleeves to get <laughs> some hands on with the, uh, with the pie crust. This is the crumb crust. Um, what are the crumbs is, made out of? The crumbs are made out of these great little crackers. Um, well, I can't say they're great little crackers, but they're great for our purposes. They are sweet potato crackers with uh, chipotle uh, pepper and you know some other stuff. And eh, tasting them on their own, they're all right. But we figured they'd make a great crumb crust. So uh, crumb crust consists of two things. The first being a crumb. And in this case, actually several crumbs. The cracker crumbs, yes, right. many many crumbs. Many crumbs. And, uh, and finely pulverized is uh, melted butter. In this case, I made uh, brown butter because uh, I. Brian likes brown butter. butter. <laughs> so uh, we are going to add some of the butter mm, to cross butter, and then we're going to mix for a little bit, and then we'll see if we have enough. Basically, you want um, enough so that it looks like it's it's not dry. You don't want it soaking wet, but you also do not want it to be um, uh, just a crumb. It's sort of the same consistency as when you're making a sand castle. Yes. And your sand is just perfectly damp enough to pack. Yes, it is the exact same. So if you have any beach experience, but tastier, but tastier, <laughs> you will know of which I speak. And if you don't have any beach experience, well, try yeah. a couple times. You'll, you'll get the idea. You'll be fine. If you, can, uh, if you can crush it together and it stays in a shape, then you know you're, you're there. doing pretty well. So I think this is probably, this is probably pretty good. Yeah. So um, with any crumb crust, you shouldn't add sugar, especially not if you're making it for a savory pie. But in this particular case, it is a sweet pie, but um, you don't add sugar because the sugar is what makes it really just solid. And that makes it hard to 
that makes it hard to cut later, so uh, mm -hmm. you can't make nice. Which is so interesting to me, because so many of the crumb crust recipes I've read mm -hmm. actually say to add sugar. Yes. So I've totally had the experience of having the rock hard mm -hmm. um, <laughs> crumb crust yes. that you can't cut. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of different ways to form this. Um, you can do what I'm doing right now, which is just uh, doing it by hand. You can take a glass and you can use the glass to, uh, um, to compact everything down. The nice thing about the glass is it will make a nice crease around the edge of your, uh, of your pie crust. Now, Now you don't actually have to cover your pie with marshmallows. You don't have to cover your pie with marshmallows. Uh, you could. It, it actually tastes really great just like that uh, without the marshmallows. Um, marshmallows are kind of fun. And lots of people like them. Uh-oh. Some people one. don't think it's, you know, sweet potato pie without marshmallows. So, depending on who you're eating with. Some people are frightened by marshmallows. Kids like marshmallows. Kids love marshmallows. And they do look kind of cool once you... Uh, Brown them up. So what we're essentially making here is a cream cheese frosting, which is not something you normally put on a pie, but marshmallows, so why not? Um, the easiest thing to do for this is to find your favorite cream cheese frosting recipe, uh, probably attached to something like a chocolate Guinness cake or a carrot cake or a red velvet cake or something like that, and uh, make that, but add in some... Uh, some pie spices, some cinnamon, some allspice, some nutmeg, that sort of thing. And, uh, and then you will have a, uh, a nice little variation. We have the savory pie. This we put a uh, pecan topping on. It is your base of sweet potato and, um, and yogurt and eggs, but this one has, instead of sugar, it has bacon, it has onion, it has an apple. Um, this is the uh, uh, sweet pie with the frosting on top. Um, it has extra molasses in it, but it has a crumb topping uh, with a, it's essentially a savory uh, chipotle sweet potato crumb crust. crust. And this is our more traditional sweet potato pie. It has pastry crust, it has the sweet filling, it has marshmallows that have been toasted in the oven on top. And uh, this is what most people would recognize, but hopefully a little more flavor than you would get uh, from your normal everyday pie. So that's it. Pie, sweet potato pie, three ways.